made an image, a Beagleball Black Flasher image, one that is custom made for Replicate. And what this image does is once it starts up, it starts, first thing it does is it starts Redeem, which is the Replicate Demon. And I mounted this Replicate on a MakerBot Cupcake, so you can communicate with Redeem directly through Proner Face, like so. Just turn the lights on and off and s and stuff. And the second thing it does, it it starts up a user interface, a web user interface, which is called OctoPrint. That I'm sure most people familiar with 3D printers is familiar with. And so you can you can use that as well to to um, communicate with the printer. I've got uh, I've got another printer here as well. Oh, it's not connected. Hold on. There we go. We got the temperature. We got the control. Everything you need to. get the printer going. So this is a different printer I mounted the replicate on. A thing printer which is a work in progress. And so that's the second way to communicate with Redeem. You can use either USB or Ethernet. And then we have like the third thing that happens is it starts Toggle which is a user interface that I'm working on. It's very alpha still but I've included it in the image so that um, up Dates can easily happen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button there, which says upgrade, and then you can upgrade the software once it um, becomes available. And then finally, there's uh, an extra little goodie that I've included on the image, which is Cura Engine. And this is a slicer, which is super fast, made by the Ultimaker people. It's super fast, and it slices like the tree frog in uh, about a minute. So that's that's like the third thing that happens. I know, like the the fourth thing. So yeah, that's it. Um, it's based on Yakto. It's an Angstrom distribution. Um, and it's available for download now. So, on the Thing Wiki page, you can download that. Still very alpha image, uh, but at least it's a start. So, yeah.